Manga Wido. My name is Yoko Miyagawa. I'm just a regular housewife who lives with her husband and a child. There are a lot of elderly people in our neighborhood. They're all very friendly and life is peaceful. However, a young woman recently moved in and there have been non-stop problems. Her name was Miss Makita. She's so pretty and has perfect figure. You'd mistake her for a model. The people in the neighborhood would compliment her for looks at first. But her popularity took a sharp hit after a few days. Why, do you ask? Miss Makita, that red car is yours, right? We told you before, you can't park there! It's in the way of kids' school routes, so please stop! It's dangerous! Oh my god, shut up! Stop being so picky just because I parked there for like two seconds! Two seconds? You've been parked there for five hours now, at least! What? That's so weird! Are you stalking me? Ugh, you're disgusting! Go park at a parking lot! Yeah, there's one right over there, and it's almost always open. Park there! It's too far! I'll avoid parking here! You happy? Her boyfriend was over. She went inside and talked a little bit before a sleazy looking man came out. Damn it! Shut the hell up already! Seriously! They just won't leave us alone! We can hear you! If you park here again, we're gonna call the police! I get it! You want me to move the damn car? Shut the hell up! The man was cussing the whole time while he moved the car. It didn't escalate from there, but this is far from over. Miss Makita, today is recycling trash only. Please don't put out flammables. Shut up! It sinks up the house if I leave it there. Who cares? There are a bunch of vermin that show up if you leave it here until next time. So what? I don't give a shit! Who has to clean it up? You never help with the garbage cleanup, so you need to stop! I don't know if it was because I didn't stop glaring at her, but she kept mumbling under her breath and took the trash home. However, she would start putting the trash out again when no one was looking, and the trash was all over the place. The cleanup took hours. A lot of people were trying to scold her, but to no avail. She wouldn't listen. If anything, things got worse. The worst thing was the noise at night. I don't know if it was her friends or what, but young men would show up and cause a ruckus fairly often. The motorcycles they rode were so loud that my husband snapped awake, and my child started to cry. You gotta cut it out! We can't get any sleep because of the damn motorcycles! What? I don't even own a motorcycle! Can you stop blaming me for all of your problems? It's because of that man that's always at your house! My ears are going to fall off! I don't know about any motorcycles! Do you have any proof that I'm part of it? I saw you talking to the guy on the motorcycles! Yeah! I also saw the man on the motorcycle going into your house! I saw it too. He's your friend, right? My kid keeps waking up in the middle of the night because of the noise. Please stop! God damn it! If you don't like the sound, tell them yourselves! I'm busy, move! Ah! Uh, are you okay? Miss Makita shoved the elderly man and left. He kept warning her, but she would not stop at all. In fact, you're just jealous because I'm young and cute. You're jealous of all the boys that aren't interested in me. You ugly old hag. She became worse. We didn't give up. We all kept nagging at her, telling her to fix her attitude, but... What is this? That's so awful. They threw old food in front of his house as revenge. I'm done. I'm too tired to deal with this anymore. He stopped arguing. I couldn't stop anymore. I had decided I would gather evidence and take it to the police. I was heading back to my parents' house because my father had told me that he got some oranges from a friend and he wanted me to have some. I was at a stoplight when the accident happened. Ah! I felt a huge smash into my car and I looked back in surprise when I was rear-ended by a fancy red car. I remember that car. It was in front of Miss Makita's house. 
I got out and noticed that it was, in fact, Miss Makita driving. You definitely hit my car! Please move your car to the side of the road! I'm calling the police! What? Oh, you're the dumb bitch that lives close to me! I barely hit you! I'm in a rush! I'm returning the car right now, so I'm in a rush! Can you move out of the way? I can't do that! I was at a red light, and I wasn't moving at all! This is 100% your fault! I'm in a rush! Move that P.O.S. Who cares about that old car and a little scratch? No matter the size, an accident is an accident. I will have the police come and check. You wait here. I couldn't have her run away. I stood my ground. Luckily, an onlooker asked to call the police. I thanked her and asked him to call immediately. But Miss Makita was not happy about that. Why would you call the police? You're so annoying! I just scratched your car! I don't care how little or big it is, an accident is an accident. You know, I always thought that you were annoying with how much you would nag at me. If you do, I'm going to call my boyfriend. He's Yakuza, you know. Huh? Yakuza? Huh, you realize with one word? You'll get beat to a pulp and you'll be swimming with the fish in Tokyo Bay, right? You better be ready! She smiled and started messing with her phone. I called a certain someone immediately as well. After I finished the call, I smirked and told her, I see. Your boyfriend is Yakuza. That's fine. Have him come. I called my father as well. He's also the real deal. You're only gonna be able to talk that smack for now. He's so scary, I don't even know what he'll do when he's mad. This car is his too, so if I tell him that you dented his car, he'll lose his mind! I see, he's incredible. Help is on the way, so just don't run away. What?! Who cares about your old man? My boyfriend is the top of Yakuza and... My father's anti-gang. If he's in the Yakuza, I'm sure you heard of it as well. The group of law enforcement that primarily handles gang violence and gang crime? The second Miss Makita stared at me like a deer at headlights. Yoko, are you okay? You could hear a rumbling voice. The second we turned around, there was a bear riding a bicycle. No, it wasn't a bear. It was my father. Dad, thank you for coming. Y Yakuza? The people nearby were also surprised. My father would easily be mistaken for Yakuza. He also was injured on the job and has a scar on his face. Chad would probably cry if they looked at his face. He's just a very powerful looking tower of a man. He was pissed off and that pissed off tower of a man was looking towards us. Miss Makita just collapsed into her driver's seat. This is the lady that rammed you, Yoko? Yeah. Her boyfriend is apparently Yakuza. He's going to beat me to a pulp and throw me into the ocean, apparently. What? Is that true? What gang is your boyfriend a part of? Waido? Manwa? No, no, no! I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. I'm so sorry, please let me go. What? You were lying? I don't care if it was a lie or not. It's a threat, and you will pay for it. You better be ready. No! The police showed up, and luckily, all of the conversation was recorded into my drive recorder. Miss Makita was arrested on counts of blackmail and verbal assault. Later, her and her lawyer showed up begging for mercy. She was a mess. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I won't ever see anything stuck up again. Please forgive me. She seemed like she felt bad about it, so I let it go. But she was still the same rotten person. The next month, she came to pay for the repairs and damages. She threw the money at my feet and said, I'm never going to forgive you! She wasn't repenting. However, my father was around by Habstons, and soon as she showed up, you could see the color leave her face. You! You haven't learned your lesson, huh? I'm 
I will be sure to increase the amount of patrolling in this area. If you even so much as look at anyone, especially my daughter wrong, so help me God. Uh, please understand, please. I'm so sorry. She must have been scared of my father. She had moved out by the next weekend. My father is usually melted by his grandson, but I hope Miss Makita takes this as a lesson and fixes her attitude. But one year later... Huh? I remember her. There is a woman being arrested on account of fraud. I noticed the one Miss Makita being taken away by the police on TV. Guess people like her really don't get over it at all. I was almost impressed by it. No matter the case, I was glad that the area was peaceful again. I'm glad the loud lady is finally gone. Pooh! Everyone was happy. I hope we can live in peace from now on.